Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm super happy that you're here today and as you can already tell, I am here with a friend. I'm so excited to be collaborating with Aisle 7 Crossing. We are going to be working on a Happy Home Paradise build in which we picked three items for each other. We picked three items from the catalog and Happy Home Paradise for the villager and we picked three items of our own choosing, so kind of a three by three by three challenge, if you will. I'll show you in just a second the items that Mia picked out for us to use, um, but we are both going to be decorating for Poppy, so I'm so, so excited. Let's go on over to Happy Home Paradise and invite Poppy over to the build. All right, so let's get to work. I am so nervously excited for this build today. I have never really tried to decorate with parameters like this, and I do really struggle with interior designs, so I'm not exactly sure how this is going to turn out, but I am really excited for it. And Poppy is so, so adorable. She decided to ask for a pet plushy palace. So the plot that I picked out for Poppy is the fall, and I really like the fall for her. So here are the items I picked out, the Poppy's items, and then Mia's items. So we're going to have to be incorporating all my of those items into this build. So I got started right away customizing Poppy's home. I really wanted to have little pops, little pops of red for Poppy, um, but I don't want it to be super um, like over the top. I just wanted it to be really subtle. So I'm gonna go ahead and give her a red roof here. And then I played around for a long time with the different customizations. I did want it to be more of a log cabin like style. So I ultimately went with here in just a second, this customization which I think is really really cozy and kind of perfect for her and then I went ahead and included a um, tree man tree wreath as well which I think is going to help to give it a more rustic vibe I kind of wanted to give her like a little farm or something so I started out just by pulling lots of different items that I thought I might want to use in the build I've been doing this lately and it helps so much to just kind of get into the flow of decorating because you don't have to really stop to search for each individual item um, and then if you don't want something I just you know delete it and it's that easy there's something about decorating in happy home paradise that is just it just has such a lovely flow to it um, and then I go back to my island and it's so much more difficult to decorate without these amazing controls so I was really trying to make the trees fit I wanted them to be overgrown but I didn't want to block the area um, I did try to keep the camera in the same position throughout this build you guys will have to let me know what you think about that. So my goal was to kind of design um, with a picture in mind. So I knew I wanted to take the picture from the front here. So I was kind of trying to figure out a way to create a really beautiful like depth um, of the landscape here, but not completely blocked off from the view when you're looking at it from this particular angle. So leaving it there for most of the builds really kind of helped me to visualize how it's all going to come together. I did want to make those clotheslines look like they were actually hanging between trees, um, which I think is so cute. And then I always like to put some fencing or just like a taller item behind the cliffs um, in the back of the build because I think it just adds a little bit of texture back there, a little bit of dimension. And then I just wanted to pick out what flower I was going to use. Um, I was initially thinking the red cosmos, but I actually have been loving the pansy plants, especially in the fall lately. I never use the pansies, but all of a sudden I've just been kind of obsessed with them and have been using them in all of my builds so I do also struggle with the pathing on the outside just because we have that terrible feature where the homes are not symmetrical with the entrance to the plot of land it's terrible I don't know what they were thinking when they did that um, but I decided to just do a single path that just kind of curves a little bit um, and that seems to work out fairly well and then I'm mapping out this space for her little farm over here I decided to turn this scarecrow around because I think the hat kind of facing the back is super super cute and then I was thinking initially about having um, a little wheat field here for Poppy but once I placed all the wheat um, I just don't feel like it looked super great so I did go ahead and delete those and then I'm gonna bring in some potatoes and some pumpkins and I think that the extra variation there really adds a lot to her little farm but those particular plants still don't you know they're not like the most bright ever so they do kind of blend in a little bit which I really enjoy and then I'm just gonna kind of scatter around some other 
like farming items throughout that area just to kind of tie it all in. I've been trying to use more ducks again because, you know, hashtag quack core. And I feel like I kind of fell off with that a little since I started my more, um, I guess, like city-like island. Um, so I'm trying to bring that back with some of these more natural builds. I did decide to incorporate the silo as well, and I'm just going to kind of swap that with the windmill. I love the height that it gives as well as the red roof. It just fits in so well for Poppy, um, and it just kind of helps to create a little bit of depth over there on the left-hand side. And then I'm going to go ahead and move that garden wagon. I love the way it just peeks out from the tree there. I think it's so cute. And then I'm turning around the trusty pirate barrels. I love the side-lying pirate barrel. I wish we had a version of the brown barrel that was like laying on its side. That would be amazing. They would be such a beautiful set. I would use them all the time, but you know, we don't, so that's okay. <laughs> Oh, I did want to include this retro gas station um, pump as well because it just kind of adds to this like rustic kind of farm like I guess vibe that we have going on here for Poppy and then I'm just filling this in with a, the last finishing touches um, of this area. I did go ahead and use those glass bottles that Mia had requested that I use. Um, I just went ahead and set them there on the pirate barrel and I think they give it a really natural and kind of rustic touch. I'm going to go ahead and fill in a lot of the space in the back with the wheatgrass item, which is such a beautiful item. I'm so, so obsessed with it. I did also want to incorporate a few more flowers. I didn't want to completely overwhelm this build with flowers and weeds, um, but I do think that the little pops of red just kind of helped to drive that like little red theme home. I was really loving how this build came together. And then I did want to incorporate some of these wild log benches. I was actually really inspired by another creator that I love, asnh.balar on Instagram. Um, she makes the most beautiful, natural kind of cottage core landscapes. You should definitely check her out if you're looking for some inspiration. Um, but I saw that she had used those recently in a build and I was just obsessed but that is going to pretty much finish up the exterior of Poppy's home. And so we're headed inside. I did want to create a super big room for Poppy. So we're doing a 10 by 10 um, and then I'm switching up the lighting and I don't know why, but I did decide to put the wind soundscape in here. I wasn't even playing with the in-game sound, so it really doesn't make any sense at all. I decided to go with the white plank walls um, with that, uh, I forget what that window wall is, but I think it's just beautiful. I did want to block off most of it though using the partition walls and I wanted there to be just one window in the center to kind of be like a little window behind her kitchen sink for her inside I want to continue that sort of rustic um, vibe that we had going outside in the interior as well and do like a very country kitchen with some natural wood um, and things like that typically I do go for the dark wood kind of dark vibes but I wanted to try something a little bit lighter for Poppy today especially to match the kind of cottage core vibe that we have going on outside. I did also use these pillars to kind of finish off the edges of the cabinetry um, because there is a bit of a gap there between where the partition wall and the cabinet is and I wanted it to look like a built-in kind of um, near the window. I did play around a little bit with different furniture items and I ultimately decided to use the ironwood kitchen set um, as well as that gorgeous kind of rustic stove um, just because I felt like it fit the vibe a little bit better. Better. and then I was trying to figure out what sort of cabinets to use and nothing was really looking quite right so I went ahead and customized the hamster wheel to be red because you know we're doing our little red theme and then I decided to just use the ironwood cabinet which I think looks a lot better for the other side I had this idea to kind of create like a little like stove area even though she already has a stove I don't know I just thought it was cute um, and I wanted to give her like a, an actual pantry um, so that little small space there is going to be her pantry. I did do that same thing I've been doing where I just grab a ton of items and just place them in the center there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give her a little soap dispenser because she is a clean
clean squirrel. We love to see it. Um, and then I just put some groceries over in her pantry. I have been loving this little counter area as well as the vintage stool. I think that they look so incredible together. And then I wanted to switch out the pillar for the simple white pillar because I think it just kind of blends in a little bit. I feel I felt like it was just kind of sticking out and I wanted that little cabinet to just kind of blend into the background and be just another little detail. And then I'm using these kind of country like looking lamps to go above her bar area and then giving her a little curtain there, which I wasn't sure if I liked initially, but I think in the end it gives it a little bit more detail. And I love the dried flower item. I think it's so beautiful. And then it has this gorgeous kind of like red and pink tone, which is perfect for Poppy. I'm giving her a little red kettle with some tea or coffee um, to sit at her bar stool with. And then I did go ahead and put the mop and bucket. You can see it in the corner there, which is another one of Mia's requested items. So I was thinking to just put it over there like she is cleaning up the kitchen. Um, and I love the actually the white version of the mop and bucket. I have never used it before, but I'm definitely going to start because it's so, so cute. The last item that I had left to use from Mia's request is the banker lamp, um, which at this point I wasn't super sure how to incorporate it within the space, but you'll see I'm going to place it here in just a second. I did go ahead and use this really soft kind of beige rug, which I think is so beautiful. And I'm just kind of creating a cozy little sitting area for her over here. I've never used the bookshelf in that particular um, customization because I just always go for the dark vibes, um, but it's just so so beautiful in her home. I'm really glad that I pushed myself to do something a little bit lighter today. And then I gave her a red um, busted radio as well because I did want to continue to add those little pops of red throughout the build. And then I did put that banker's lamp on the table there as well. The white version of the banker's lamp is also so beautiful. It's another item that I never really used before because I always saw the green customization that it shows in the like catalog and I was just never super excited about it. So I'm so glad that she picked some items um, that I didn't typically use before. I'm definitely going to add them in to my kind of repertoire of some of my favorite items. I did go ahead and just throw a little poop over there which I think just finishes off this cozy sitting area perfectly and then I wanted to add a few things onto the wall the macrame tapestry is a classic item and then I usually will just add like a radiator somewhere because I think it's just such a cute item I gave her a little antique clock and a light switch um, and then I wanted to include some shelving um, and things like that along the other wall I'm not doing anything super crazy here because this is a wall that you probably aren't going to see unless you're like really in the room panning around and then I gave her a little hat as well so just a few little details nothing too cluttered or crazy for that area I did want to include some shoes and socks. I love incorporating shoes and socks in builds. I just think it's so cute. Um, so I'm just going to throw those in another little pop of red. Um, and then I have been using the Chevalera plant. I feel like the Monstera is taking a major back burner for me. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and try to incorporate that in this area as well. For this um, other side of the room, I wanted to give her a big space to entertain. I feel like Poppy would love to have friends over um, and to kind of like entertain Yes, so I gave her a big country style table here and I've actually not ever used the ranch style table either so it was really fun to get to use some items that I don't typically use and then I wasn't sure what rug to use for this area to kind of section it off so I just went ahead and used the beige um, rug and then just kind of like put all the squares together which I think works surprisingly well. At this point, I'm not gonna lie, I was feeling a little bit um, lost. I wasn't really sure what to do around the dining table, but I felt like the tension pole shelving here kind of works perfectly with it. So I'm so grateful for those items because it also fills up the wall space as well. It's like a perfect two for one. Um, and then I went ahead and just threw a little lamp back there. It just kind of adds some soft light. And the rest of this build is just me adding in some kind of smaller details so I'll let you go ahead and vibe with the end and I'll be back in just a second.
So after I finished the interior, I quickly realized that I actually neglected to use the items that I chose, um, but I didn't think they would fit in the inside. So I did go ahead and put this little um, bit of wood partition in front of those, um, in front of the wheat item, um, because I just felt like it was the most natural place to fit it in. Um, and then I was trying to fit in the public bench as well, which is the other item that I chose. Did have to shuffle around some items a little bit to get it to fit in front of her house. And then I ultimately decided the red customization kind of fit best with the theme that we have going on for her. And then all nine items were used. So this is Poppy's little farm. See, you are smart. The fact that you use the items on the outside, <laughs> I used all my inside. So, so great. Already. I tried to mix it up a little bit because I did not know how to use the banker lamp outside. Yeah. Okay. So here's her oh, inside. This I is so cute. Thank you. But I just gave her this like little country vibe. So you got the mop and bucket over there with her ironing sets. Okay, and good. I'm like, you've got to show me where all the items are. I see the banker lamp. I see Oops. the mop and bucket. I yeah. see the plush puppy, which I think was on Poppy's list. Yeah, it was. And I can't remember what else was on her list. I think the bird cage. Oh, hamster cage. Yeah, I the, see the hamster cage. <laughs> yep, on the back by the window. And then the items I picked, I think, were all outside. I yeah. You are just too big brain because I did not even think about putting any of the items outside and I shoved them all indoors. Oh no, I'm sure it's amazing though. <laughs> I love all the pops of red that go with her too that you included in there. Oh, thanks. Thanks for noticing. I really tried to include like some little red elements for her because, you know. Um, but if you guys want to check out Mia's beautiful builds for Poppy, definitely go and head on over to her channel. I will link it in the description below as well as on the screen here. Um, so definitely go and check out her build for Poppy. I can't wait to see it. Um, but before we say goodbye today, I do want to take a second to thank the members of the Fox fam. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. You can also support the channel by liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell if you'd like to be notified when I upload. But thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!